Well, May is Asthma Awareness Month, a time to help educate and take action to make a difference in the lives of more than 26 million people in the U.S. that are living with it. And that stat comes from the American Lung Association. And to talk about more about it, Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning to help us better understand. Good morning. Always Good morning. great to have you here. Uh, so first mm. off, let's just talk about some of these misconceptions when it comes to asthma. The biggest misconception is that asthma can just be treated with medications alone. And that is why we have over 900,000 ER visits every year, people having asthma exacerbations. Now, to really treat asthma, you need to have a holistic approach. And the foundation is education. Obviously, following up with your doctor, medication compliance, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. exercise, not smoking, and then knowing what your triggers are. And a lot of people don't realize what common asthma triggers are. Extremes of temperature, pet dander, um, you know, there's even certain medications like, asthma, uh, mm -hmm. like aspirin can be a trigger for asthma patients. Did not realize that. Mm -hmm. uh, what about people that maybe don't even know they have it beyond shortness of breath, or what are some of the other symptoms? Well, so asthma is caused by a hyperreactivity of your bronchioles, which are your you know breathing tubes. Mm -hmm. And so wheezing is one of the hallmark symptoms of asthma, but asthma can also present with anxiety, weakness or fatigue with exercise, insomnia, chronic cough. A lot of people are walking around with a chronic cough, not realizing that that, in fact, is a manifestation of asthma. So it's important if you have symptoms that are vague like that to really get checked out. Now, there's something interesting that I didn't know about this before. Um, asthma, there's a connection between asthma and mood disorders in, in children? Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Huh. So first in the adult population, uh, patients with asthma have a 25% increase of depression and anxiety. And children with poorly controlled asthma report increased feelings of sadness, lower self-esteem, and an inability to participate mm. in activities with other kids. Now, what's really made the news recently is the connection between certain asthma medications and increase in mood disorders. At the top of the list is Singular, also known as Montelukast, has been found to show an increase in anxiety, mood disorders, insomnia, nightmares, even suicidal ideation. All of these symptoms are more pronounced in the pediatric population. So something to think about if your child has asthma, and these are conversations you really need to have with your health care provider. Right, I guess if you feel like asthma is holding you back from some activities, that would be a connection to some of this. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, sadness. And also, um, just for people dealing with asthma, uh, children, adults, uh, what are some of the treatments that they can seek to better help themselves? Yeah. some of the latest treatments, I guess. Well, look, medication compliance is so important. You know, following up with those doctor visits and taking your medication every day, the lifestyle goes a long way. Exercise, being a healthy weight, not smoking, and then really, really editing your house for those triggers. Avoiding a wood-burning fireplace, strong cleaning mm -hmm. supplies, uh, mold, dust, pet dander, all of these things together uh, can keep you asthma-free. Right, and fragrance, fragrances? Is that strong, strong, strong smells? And you know, that becomes all. a real issue during the holidays mm, with the yes. scented candles and scented the Christmas everything. tree, yeah, everything. Yes. Yeah. Okay, always good advice. Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much for thank being you. here. And we, of course, have more information about your health. This is every Monday at 7.15 when Dr. Kumar is here on call.